Welcome to Life Journey. I'm your host, Theophilus McPherson. And now, today I'd like to talk about how to connect back to God. In Matthew 11, chapter, verse 28 and through 30, it say, Come unto me, all ye that heaven laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Because a meek and lonely heart you shall find rest unto your soul. Because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Number one, you got to cry out to God. In Psalms 51 verse number one, he say, David say, Have mercy upon me, O Lord, according to the tender mercy, blot out my transgression. Renew a right spirit within me. Take not the Holy Spirit from me. That's number one. Number two, you got to carry your burden, your anxiety to the Lord. You take your anxiety to the Lord. Carry. Number, two, number three, call out to God. Not things, but call out to God. And number four, claim your deliverance. Call those things be not as though they are. So claim your deliverance. And number two, number, number five, cut social network. Yes, cut social network for six months. Hey, glory to God. And while you're doing it, my friend, you're going to read more of the Bible. You could be, be re praying more to God. You could be fasting more to God because Paul said, "When I when I preach to other, I make myself a castaway. So when I talk to other, I make myself a castaway." Number six reason: credit God, not self, but credit the Holy Spirit that coming more into your life. Hey, glory to God. Number seven reason: come clean with God. Come clean with God with clean hands. And pure heart number eight carry self to the cross yes carry self to the cross because my friend you will carry self to the cross and leave self there because self is flesh number ninth reason remember Calvary Hill yes remember Calvary Hill hey glory to God and number tenth reason Take, glory to God, a course in the Word of God. Yes, take a course in the Word of God. So how do you connect to God? You got to cry out to God. Hey, glory to God. Cry as loud as you can to God. The, the Bible say, glory to God. They that weep and may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. The, they that, that sow in tears shall reap enjoy so i'm telling you my friend how can to connect to god you gotta carry your burden to the lord and leave him there and call out to him and leave things alone hey glory to god hallelujah and claim your deliverance claim it call it hallelujah bring forth it pursue it and cut all social network, especially Facebook. I know people on there are prayer warriors, but I come to tell you, my friend, demons and witches and warlockers on Facebook. Number six, credit not self, but credit God for your deliverance. Credit the Holy Spirit. And number seven, come clean with God. Time for you to be clean, not to be dirty, not to be cussing, not to be swearing, not to be cussing people out, but to come clean with God. It's not with your mouth. Stop that cussing. Because a fountain can bring forth sweet water and bitter water. If it brings forth bitter water, put an out for sale sign, out of order sign there. Number eight, carry self to the cross. Take my burden and carry self. Get away the flesh. There ain't no good thing to dwell in the flesh. The only thing flesh is mess. And the first thing is cussing. Number nine, remember Calvary Hill. Remember when you remember the cross, glory to God, you would tell self, get out the way. And number 10, take a course in the word of God. When you take a course in the word of God, the Bible says, glory to God, Psalms 119, verse 11, the word of I hid in my heart that I won't sin against God. 
glory to God. You've been meditating in the word of God day and night. Be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, Paul says, study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman, a woman, not to be shamed rightly, dividing the word of truth. So take a course in the word of God. My friend, this is how you get connected back to God. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, God bless this sister, bless this brother that have fallen out of fellowship with your God. Bring him back to God in the name of Jesus. Fill him with the Holy Ghost. Fill him with courage. Let him go back to the cross where I first saw the light. Bless them right now. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube video. Until then, may God bless you richly is my prayer.